This is Manchester City Football Club and they hold the world record for the most goals in a single Premier League season, scoring 106 goals in 38 games. And this is Southampton at the bottom of the Premier League table and the worst scoring team. But today we are going to try and change that as we're going to step in as their manager and attempt to break the 106 goal record and write Southampton's name into the history books. And here we are at Southampton for the first time, our new home for the next couple of months. I knew we had a lot of work on our hands if we were going to take Southampton up the ranks and beat that 106 goal record. So my first move as manager was to take a look at the team that we'd be working with. And immediately we noticed that our team is severely lacking as they look like they've just been scouted from the nearest Tesco. But just like that, we have received word from the chief executive that the transfer window is now open. But before I could make any new signings to the club, I had to first meet with the managing director sir phil sir phil nice to meet you i've got to say it's a pleasure to be working here yeah yeah listen up Azza. we're happy to have you here and all that but don't you dare go blowing all that budget in one week you hear me we need that money for later in the season okay sir phil i understand yeah you better understand remember all decisions go through me and you don't want to make me mad all right all right yeah got it Damn, Sir Phil is being really harsh on us on our first day. I hope he doesn't get too angry if I spend all this money. And so I decided to ignore Sir Phil's orders and we went into tense negotiations with West Ham in order to sign their star striker, Mikel Antonio, for £27 million. But we weren't done there and I wasn't satisfied with the budget that we'd been given. So we decided to break the bank and sign Chelsea's star striker, Pierre-Eric Aubameyang, for £40 million. I hope Sir Phil isn't going to be too angry when he finds out. And with our two new strikers in the starting 11, our attack is now looking more dangerous. But it seems that we are not the only ones making amazing signings this season as Aston Villa signed Roberto Firmino for £37 million and Victor Ossiman to Man United for £63 million. And we start to get nervous because we realise the level of teams that we'd be playing. But we had no time to worry about that right now as the start of the Premier League season was only a few days away. And so we put our new signings through intense training so that they were fighting fit and ready for the mountain of goals that we had to climb. But just like that, it is now match day and we are really starting to feel the pressure. And in this opening game, we are facing Brentford and I'm hoping that it's going to be an easy win for the boys and fill them with hope for the rest of the season. Come on lads, if you can bring this home today, who knows where we could be by the end of the season. And that's Aubameyang through on his own, he's on goal, can he get our first goal of the season? No! And that's a beautiful through ball to Miguel Antonio, he's passed everyone, can he shoot, get the first goal? That is off the post but it's in and that's one goal to get us to that 106 goals we need. And we're 17 minutes in, can we get a cheeky little second goal? And that's already our second goal in the match, oh no that was not smart. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? No! No, we've conceded in our debut game to a silly mistake. That is so embarrassing. Oh, no, 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 don't shoot. No, please. Oh, no, we've conceded another goal, guys. Can Aubameyang make this run and get his first goal for the club? Oh, no, he misses it. Passes it to Miguel. He passes it up to Aubameyang. Can he get his first goal for the club? He can. Aubameyang has scored a debut goal, and that is going to fill the players with morale for our future games. And we do manage to get our first win in our first game, which is a great start after the season. As we can see, we have placed ourselves in the top four on the Premier League table. But we cannot get ahead of ourselves, as rival teams like Liverpool were also looking really strong as they managed to get a clean sheet victory in their first game. However, things are not all fine and peachy as we receive the troubling phone call we were not looking forward to from Sir Phil. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, hello Sir Phil, is everything alright? Hazard, no it's not flipping alright. What did I tell you about spending all my money? We're 59 million in the bloody hole. Sir Phil, I know I blew the budget but I needed to if we're going to break this record and the other two players we had were just not going to get us there so I had to sign some new ones. Well, in that case, you also better win the title while you're at it, because if you don't, you're fired. You get me? Yes, I, I get you. So Sir Phil has told me that on top of breaking the 106 gold record, I now also need to make sure that I win the title, otherwise... You're fired. But before we can go into our next game, I decided to try and shift some of that debt. I'd sell our old striker, Onuachu, for £14.7 million. That should hopefully be enough for now to keep Sir Phil off our backs. But match day was once again here, and it was time for our second game and we travelled all the way to London to face opponents Tottenham Hotspur. This would be our first real test. But I believe we can do it. We need to get at least three goals to stay on track. Oh no, Harry Kane is through. No, this is what I was worried about. No. 
We have just conceded a goal to Tottenham and starting off this second game, not good at all. But this made Aubameyang angry and he did this. Going for a long shot. Oh, and it's off the post. He's going for a second long shot. Can he get this one? And that is a beautiful goal. Oh, that is why we signed Aubameyang. He is helping us to get this 106 goal Premier League record. And he's got two goals in two matches. He is starting off on brilliant form. We need more goals. This isn't enough. And that's a beautiful ball through to Antonio. Can he get a beautiful long shot? Shot on goal. Oh, what a goal that was. And we are bringing it back against the most difficult opponents yet. But it wasn't all fairy tales and we weren't out the woods. Sanjuma, no, we have conceded to Tottenham again. We are now only drawing. No, no, please, no. And we've conceded in the 89th minute. And I am now losing to Tottenham. And after starting out so promisingly against Tottenham, we walk away with a 3-2 loss. But I'm not going to let this get me down, as our next game is against Brighton. And if there was any game for us to rack up our tally of goals in, it would be this one. And look at that beautiful run from Aubameyang. He's going for a long shot already. Oh, he's off the post straight away. And that's a beautiful run. Aubameyang is in space. Can he cross it in? Yes, he can. And he gets the first goal of the game. Absolutely beautiful. And my man, Antonio, has scored four goals in three matches. He is really pulling his weight in this team. Oh, that's a beautiful interception. Oh, what are we going to do here? Let's just run it into the goal. We're going to run it into the goal and absolutely embarrass Brighton. Clearly, my managerial skills are so good that my players don't even need to try. He has made a run. He's going for a power shot. Oh, and the keeper doesn't stand a chance. That was absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's beautiful. Can we get one final goal just to send us through? Come on, one final goal. Yes, and that is brilliant. That is going to be four goals against Brighton, bringing us all the way up to nine goals in total. But ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, our next match is against Manchester United. And it's obvious that our defence is clearly our weak point as we keep letting in silly goals. And we're going to stand no chance against Manchester United striker Marcus Rashford if we keep it the way it is. And our worst defender is this stinky 66 rated left back by the name of Lavia. So I decided to contact Real Sociedad and purchase one of their fine left back defenders by the name of Juan Bernat for £20 million. And with him now in our defence, we are looking a lot stronger. And now that change has been made, the day has come to travel to Old Trafford to face the Red Devils. And I cannot get too comfortable because I've still got people like Casemiro, Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford to deal with in this game. Can our new defender make us proud? Yes, he can. He intercepts the ball beautifully. It is again with our new defender and he feels like coming forwards. He's taking the whole field. He has a shot. Oh, and he just misses. And there are no goals at the half-time whistle. We need to get some before the end of the game if we're going to have a chance at beating this Premier League record. Okay. Oh, beautiful ball. Aubameyang is through. Can we get our first goal against Manchester United? We have done it against one of the hardest teams in the Premier League. Oh no, Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes, no, no. He has scored against us and made us concede a goal in this game. So important to my club's morale. And when the whistle blew after a full 90 minutes, we finished with a disappointing one all draw. And now after four games in the Premier League season, we are in fifth place, but we are leading in terms of goals as we have 10 on our sheets. But I know that our team needs to do better as next month we face our biggest opponent yet, the current leaders of the Premier League goal record, Manchester City. And if we're going to stand a chance against them, I really need to take a long hard look at this team and see how I can improve. But now we have our next game against Wolverhampton. And since we didn't score many goals in that Manchester United game, I think we need to pull it back in this game here. And we started the game off with a couple of decent shot opportunities, but then the Wolves came to bite. No, please. Oh no, we've conceded. I haven't even scored in this game yet. And now we are down one goal. In the second half, I need to prove myself and I need to get some goals on the sheets because right now it is not looking good for Southampton. Okay, here we go. We are through on goal. Can we cross it into Aubameyang to finish it with a diving header? Yes, we can. That is a goal in this game to add to our score sheet. And after that, we managed to add even more goals to our tally as we slayed the Wolves. And by full time, we had managed to secure a four goal victory and felt happy with what we had achieved. But next, we faced Newcastle, which turned out to be a very disappointing game as neither side scored and we ended up leaving without any goals at all. But now I'm starting to get nervous because in four games we face the current record holders Manchester City and the news is currently reporting that they are doing really well in their Premier League season and are opponents to be reckoned with and with that fresh in our minds it was now time to host Leeds for our next game and we had a couple of shots in the first half but nothing was connecting and I could feel the fans frustration as by half time we were left with much work to do in the second half but in the second half my players stepped up to the plate and buried them 
beneath an avalanche of goals and we managed to finish the game 4-0. But after that victory, I knew the best thing for my team was to keep the ball rolling and I was hoping to achieve that today with our match against Nottingham Forest. And we started the game on strong as our star striker Aubameyang put one right past the keeper in the first 15 minutes. But in the second half, it was just disappointment as we didn't manage to get any more shots in the goal and we left with a disappointing one all draw. Damn, I was for sure that this was going to be the game that I triumphed in. I know that I've got to completely destroy my next opponents, otherwise I may as well just throw in the towel now. And we managed to do just that in the next game as we picked up a 4-0 win against West Ham. And after those last couple of games, we've managed to put 23 goals to our club's name and it's starting to look promising. However, the date we were dreading had arrived. It was finally time to face Manchester City, the current record holders. I know how much a win would mean here today, not just to me, but to the players if we could get a victory over the very team that holds the current record. This is going to be tough, but if they win this, I know they can win anything. But right off the bat, there's a beautiful run from Antonio, and he sent it through to Aubameyang, who's not made it in time. Oh no, and Erling Haaland is on the ball. He is an absolute tank. I've got to stop him, and we did. Can we get a through ball to Aubameyang? Yes, we can. Can we get this goal, please? This would mean so much to me and my team. No. Aubameyang is in the box. Can he finish? Yes, he can. He's brought us a goal against Manchester City, the current record holders, and that gives us another the goal for our tally and Aubameyang still isn't full he feels like he wants to eat the entire restaurant because he wants another goal oh and by half time we'd only managed to secure a narrow 1-0 lead would we be able to hold on to it or would Erling Haaland be the thorn in our sides in the second half oh no they've broken through my defense oh no I have not just let that happen I have just conceded a goal to Manchester City they already hold the record and they are proving to make this difficult for us to beat them but I'm not gonna let that stopped me from beating their entire team with Aubameyang and putting myself back in the lead. Oh, and Aubameyang is through, but he's got no energy. Oh, this is terrible. He's got no energy. He's going to mess it up. Oh. oh, no. I've gone on a goalkeeper run and I've messed this up. Please get the... No. I have just conceded again and now I'm drawing. No, it's the 85th minute. And, oh, and Manchester City have just put another one past my defence. And I'm now losing to Manchester City. No! And after starting the game so promisingly, we'd somehow managed to lose 3-2. I can't believe we lost. How can we expect to beat Manchester City's record when we can't even beat them in a game? I know that we play Man City again in December, and I just cannot let Erling Haaland embarrass us again like that. And so, I immediately put my players through some more intense training and made sure that by the next time we were to meet Manchester City, we could triumph and beat them in the game. I also thought we needed a better midfield as we need to set up more opportunities for our strikers. However, still being tens of millions in the hole, we couldn't afford to make any new signings just yet, but we needed change now. And so, I took a risk and contacted our club's youth academy to scout out any potential young players who could help us out in the games to come. And they noticed a young prospect by the name of Austin Hill with a 94 overall potential and every good manager should take risks and that's why we're putting him in the starting 11 for our next game but unfortunately our new signed left back was injured and so I had to substitute him off and also I put on Adams in place for Bamyang as he was absolutely exhausted and I needed him fit for future games but before kickoff we received a dreaded call from Sir Phil what the bloody hell do you think you're doing putting a youngster in the starting 11 against Arsenal have you lost your mind Sir Phil please I believe in this young man and we need to change our team up if we're going to get better well, you bloody better hope you win, because you don't want to find out what happens if you lose. What? What happens? H Hello? And sure enough, match day is here, and we head to London to face Arsenal. I hope putting this young man, Austin Hills, in the starting 11 won't be an awful mistake today, especially against players like Gabriel Jesus and Saka. Sir Phil might not believe in me, but if this goes well, maybe he'll change his mind about our methods. Oh, and that's a beautiful interception. Can he get it over the top to Antonio? Can we get a first goal against Arsenal? No! And Adams is through with a long shot. Oh, and it goes off the bar. But Miguel Antonio fancies in chances from outside the box, and it's off the bar for a second time. Can we get the third one? Oh my gosh. Can we get it down to Hills, our new prospect player? Can he do what? Oh, he almost reboned that in. That was beautiful. What can he do? Can he cross it in? Yes, he can. Can we get in goal? Oh, and he's absolutely put it away. Oh, and that's a beautiful interception from Adams. He is absolutely beautiful. This one. I think we can get a second one here. Can we pass it over? I think we can get this in. No. 
Oh, and we have put it in off a deflection from the defender. We might be playing the gunners here today, but it feels like we're the ones calling the shots. Oh, and that's a beautiful interception. What can Adams do here? He's going to go for the goal himself, and he's put it away for a third goal against Arsenal. Oh, and this is Adams. Can he put it away for a fourth one? This would be absolutely... Oh, it's a sensational game. And bringing Shea Adams on for Aubameyang from the bench really paid off as he was excited to show us what he could do. I was also very happy to see our young new prospect, Hills, try something very ambitious in his first game. I'm excited to see where he goes. And I couldn't hide it, I was absolutely ecstatic with my team's performance, as we managed to pull ourselves back into the top three on the Premier League table. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous about our next game against Liverpool. It is now the 19th of November and today is another massive game as we face Liverpool. Currently fourth in the table, they have the unbelievable Mo Salah on their side and it's going to be our biggest challenge in this game. Oh no, and this is not looking good, this is Mo Salah who I was worried about. Oh, but we've saved it, we're still safe. And Aubameyang is back on the field, he fancies He's an outside the foot shot, but it gets saved. And it's our second game for our young new prospect. He's yet to score a goal. Can we go on an amazing solo run with him and see if we can score a goal? Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my goodness gracious. What an absolutely beautiful skill goal from our young prospect Hills. I can't believe what I've just witnessed. And the crowd are absolutely loving it. And by the halftime whistle, we were still 1-0 up. And a very embarrassed Jurgen Klopp made his way back to his dressing room. But in the second half, we did not stop and continued to cause absolute destruction. Oh, and this is beautiful. Over to our young prospect. He wants to show us that he's got more to offer. He's cut inside. He's not even shooting. How long is he going to take? He's stuck at the ball. He's stuck at the ball. He's stuck at the ball. And he's put it away for a second goal against Liverpool in his second game. This is absolutely sensational. I'm so glad I decided to scout him and bring him into the main team. And everyone's going crazy celebrating his unbelievable skills. And the full-time whistle blows at 2 all. And Jurgen Klopp is not happy, man. But who cares? What a second game for our young new signing, Austin Hills. That was incredible. And seeing that performance has actually filled me with hope that we can genuinely beat this 106 gold record and win the title. But even after that godly performance, we are still trailing to current leaders, Manchester City, by a whole six points. If we have more games like we just had though, I think we stand a chance of beating them. And we managed to keep it going as we picked up a nice 3-1 win against Leicester and a 2-0 win against Fulham. But the momentum quickly wore off as in the next two matches, we only picked up two goals as we suffered a 2-1 loss against Aston Villa and the same again against Everton. Oh, f***ing hell. And just to add to the building pressure that we face Man City again soon, we can see that their star striker, Haaland, has just won the Ballon d'Or. And this makes us feel very nervous. But we did not let that phase us, as in our next game against Crystal Palace, we managed to pick up an astounding 6-0 win. And after that impressive storm of scoring, we have managed to take our total goal count up to 45 goals. But as we can see, Chelsea are now currently leading the Premier League table. And guess who our next match is against? Playing against the current leaders is never easy. There's so much pressure, but I believe these lads can do something special here today. And the boys were lined up and roaring to go. I could tell this was going to be a belter of a game. Oh, that's a beautiful interception. Can we get a goal against Chelsea? Yes, we can. The current leaders face no match against me. Oh, that's beautiful. Can he cross it in? Yes, can he finish it off? Aubameyang has put it away for our second goal against the leaders, Chelsea. It is starting to look promising for us. And by half time, we managed to hold on to our lead, but could we make it last until the final whistle? Oh no, and I've made a huge mistake in the box. This is not good. No, please do not punish me. Oh no, I've conceded to Chelsea. This is not good at all. Two seconds later. No, and Chelsea have got through my defense and he's taken the ball off the goalkeeper and I'm now drawing. I can't believe I let Chelsea turn it around like this. If we lose this game, we have no hope of beating that record. I need to make a change and fast. I think the issue is that we have Aubameyang up front striking and he's playing against his old club Chelsea, so he may still have some loyalties to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to the bench in the hopes that our young new prospect can fill Aubameyang's shoes and bring this game back. And so Aubameyang was ordered to take a seat on the bench and Austin Hills stepped up to the plate. And our man Hills, he's brought it through to Antonio. Can he get it back to Hills? And Hills can finish up this game for us. And he has done it. Hills has brought this game back and we are now leading again against Chelsea. And after that emotional roller coaster of a game, we emerge victorious with a 3-2 win. We are now 19 games in, which means we are halfway through the Premier League season. 
but we are currently only standing on 48 goals, which means we are now behind our target of 106 goals if we carry on this path. But the date had finally come. It was the end of December and it was time for our second match against Manchester City. But just before we're about to start the game, we receive a phone call and it's from Sir Phil. Hello, Sir Phil. Is everything okay? Shut up, Azza, and listen here, and listen good. You know we've got a big game today, and if we lose this, we may as well give up now. If you don't bloody win this game today, don't bother coming back to the office, because you'll be sacked. Got it? Uh, yeah, yes, Sir Phil, I understand. So you guys heard too, if we lose this game, it is over, and our career is finished at Southampton. And we arrived at the Etihad Stadium, and the fans were ready for an unbelievable game. This is it. It is all or nothing here today. If I cannot win, we stand no chance at winning the title or the record. I just have to hope that Haaland does not embarrass us a second time. And we started off promising. We had a couple of shots. We got in the box, and then this happened. Oh, and we are through. This could be a first goal. And Aubameyang has made it, so they are now winning against Manchester City with our opening goal. They are not going to embarrass me again. This will be a victory today. Oh, no. Erling Haaland has got through my defence. No, no. Ooh. This is almost a repeat of last time. This is not looking good. Oh, no. Haaland has pickpocketed my goalkeeper. That's not good. And he's shot and he scored. No, I don't believe it. Haaland is embarrassing us a second time around. I think we need to get our young prospect here involved a bit more. Let's see if we can go on a beautiful solo run with him. And he's already making his way through the defence. What can he do? Can he cut inside? Yes, he can. What's he going to do here? Is he going to shoot? No, he's not. He's flicked it up for himself again. And he's missed it at the last second. And it's almost half time. But Antonio is through. Can he shoot? Oh, goal. And he's missed it. No, Laporte has the ball. He's brought it through to Rodri. Is he going to pass to Haaland? No, he's going to shoot, but he saves the goal. Thank goodness for that. And that's a beautiful interception from Aubameyang. He's through balled it to Antonio. And I can see we've got someone down on the wing. It's through ball it to him, Armstrong. And in the 80th minute, we have scored our second goal against Manchester City, putting us back in the lead. And that's a beautiful ball through to Aubameyang. It's the 90th minute. The whistle is about to go. What will he do? Will he pass or will he shoot? He shoots and it's a third goal against Manchester City. We have done it. We have beaten them. And we managed to triumph over Manchester City in our second game against them, which is going to boost my team's morale and help us to beat the 106 goal record. And after that triumph against Manchester City, we can see that we are now second on the Premier League table with 40 points but we only have 51 goals and we are past our halfway point so we need to be scoring more goals in future games but I can also tell that Sir Phil is not going to be happy with us because Chelsea are leading the table instead of us by a whole six points so we better hope by the time January comes and we have to face them again we can beat them this time but now it's time for our 21st game as we play West Ham and let's see if we can do the same that we did in the Man City game and absolutely obliterate them but we were off to a shaky start as West Ham did this with a corner oh my god he just hit the bar the Bamiyang has it can he get a beautiful shot on goal he's got past everyone can we get a first goal of the game oh and well, he's missed it pissed. what the hell did I pay millions for you for okay come on please don't screw this up again just get a goal oh my god and just to add to that I gave away a penalty in the 88th minute and if this went in I would definitely lose oh thank god Oh my god. And then before I knew it, the ref blew for bloody full time. I don't believe it. That should have been an easy game and there was no goals. And after that miserable game, I just wanted to go back to my office and sulk. But the chief executive sent me this important looking letter, but it was long and I really didn't want to read it. Well, good morning, Mr. Manager. I just wanted to let you know that blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in the bin. It's probably not important, right? But our next challenge comes in the form of Tottenham Hotspur. And I'm not looking forward to this game because we've got Chesney in goal. And he's a tank. Oh, and we almost beat him though. But can we beat him here? Maybe we can get lucky and cross to an overhead kick into the back of the net. That is going to help us to beat them in this game. Gotcha, bitch. Oh no, and Harry Kane is intercepted the ball. Oh, we we're almost punished for it. And we are up at half time. Let's hope that we don't throw it all away in the second. And it seemed like our young prodigy Hills wanted to be the man that saw it through. Two interceptions. Can he make it a third? Yeah. Yes, he can. Can he get it back to him? Oh my gosh, our new prodigy. Can he put it in the goal? For three goals, it's off the post. We have managed to score a second goal against Tottenham. And that is going to secure possibly our win here today. And we did just that as the referee blew for full time and we'd finished at 2-0. Oh no, guys, remember that letter we got before, which I said looked important, but I couldn't be bothered and I just binned it. Well, it turns out it was important. As I've just been told, that Alianusi, our main midfielder, has walked away to Aston Villa on a free transfer for a total profit of minus 4.9 million quid. Oh, no. 
Yeah, maybe as the club manager, I should read the letters sent to me in future. No, who are we kidding? We don't have time for that. So instead of reading more boring letters, we decided to head into our next game, which was against Brentford. And guys, we absolutely managed to wipe the kitchen floor with them as we finished with a 4-0 lead. And shortly after that game, we were struck with even more luck as we were approached by Olympic Leon, who were interested in buying our bench striker, Shea Adams. And we managed to get a superb deal on him as we sold him for £7.7 .7 million, pounds, which is a nice amount which might help us to get out of that debt we're in. Jesus Christ, never mind. How, how, how have I spent this much money? I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose me job. But as luck would have it, AC Monza were also interested in signing my young new prodigy, Austin Hills, for £5.5 million, pounds, which could actually help dig me out of the financial hole I'm in. I don't care if they're interested. That's my young prodigy and he's what's gonna help us achieve that goal, so I reject your offer. I might be millions in debt, but I'm not selling my prodigy because I know that we're gonna need all the help we're gonna get as our next game is against current leaders, Chelsea. But just as we're about to start that game, we get a phone call and it's from Sir Phil. And I'm scared, I hope he's not angry. I don't know what you think you're playing at. Chelsea is still leading that table. Step up your game or you're gone. But Sir Phil, I want to make it to the end of the season and that doesn't seem fair at all. No, 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 I'm not having this, all right? You lose, you're sacked. That's final. So you heard Sir Phil, if we don't even win this game, I'm not going to get a chance to even attempt finishing the goal and getting the title. But we put Sir Phil's harsh words in the back of our minds as we head to Stamford Bridge, where everyone has gathered to see possibly one of our most important games of this Premier League season. There is so much pressure to win this game here today otherwise I'll be kicked out of Southampton FC so I've got to hope that my team don't let me down but in the 17th minute disaster struck no please oh. no Giro Mobile has just been the dagger in our hearts I don't believe it we've gone 1-0 down one of the most important games so far in our career at Southampton. Okay, it's time to go gamer mode. I've got to sit forwards. Oh, and that's a beautiful through ball to our prodigy. Can he get it in the top corner? No, and then Mendy is there to save it. I'm going to try something different here for the corner. I know this is unconventional, but let's see if it makes a difference. Maybe it will. In the top corner. Oh, and it goes off the post. Oh, and that's a beautiful. No one is there. Okay, put it in. Antonio, off the bar. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. I don't believe I didn't score there. And as the ref blew the whistle for half time, it was not looking good as we went to the locker rooms down 1-0. This just isn't good enough. Sir Phil's going to fire me if I lose this game. I think that Aubameyang is holding back again as he's loyal to his old club. So I'm going to have to sub him off. And so after subbing off Aubameyang, we head into the second half with our fingers crossed. That's a beautiful interception from Antonio. Can he put a low cross in? Can he get this? Oh no, our young prodigy Hills has let us down for the first time ever. Oh, and that's a beautiful interception from Diallo. Okay, can we get a through ball through to Mikel Antonio? Yes, we can. And he's got in space Armstrong, who's just come onto the pitch. Oh no, but he's passed it to Hills. Is he going to mess it up again? No, Hills manages to put it away this time. Thank goodness. And he has put us level with Chelsea. We might not be getting five from Southampton just yet. Oh, that's a beautiful... Okay, please, this has to go in. I cannot go back to Sir Phil with anything less than a win. And oh my goodness, Antonio has just headed it into someone's back garden. 80th minute. This could be it. This could be the goal. It's a so I've got someone there and uh, we can put it away to give ourselves the lead against Chelsea. We might be staying as manager of Southampton for a while longer. But it turns out I celebrated too early as this happened. No, no, he's got it in my box. No, please, no. Oh my goodness, no. N'Golo Kante. N'Golo Kante has stabbed me in the back. I am now once again drawing with Chelsea, the current leaders of the table. And Sir Phil is not going to be happy about this. I'm going to try my unique corner taking technique on the chest. Can he shoot? Oh no! No, that's the final whistle! I don't believe it, that's the final whistle! Oh no! And so, in a game where we needed a win to keep our job and save our career, we had drawn. And just like that, Sir Phil wants to call us again. I'm not looking forward to hearing what he has to say. As a, you go and draw and you let Kante score the winner, didn't I say what would happen if you lost that game? Yes, yes, but technically you did say if I lose the game, which I didn't. I actually drew. Please give me another chance, Sir Phil, and I will prove my worth to this club. And I promise I will not let you down in the end. Yeah, yeah, all right, Tom Holland. I'll give you till the end of the season. But if you slip up again like that one more time, you're out, all right? Thank you, Sir Phil. I won't let you down. So luckily, Sir Phil decided to give us till the end of the season before he makes his final decision. And if we take a look at the table whilst we're here, we can see that we've played 24 games now, but 
because we just drew with Chelsea, we are still trailing to them. However, we can also see that we currently have 59 goals, which is still the most on this Premier League table, but we still need to be scoring way more if we're going to beat this 106 goal record, because right now we're still trailing. And in our next game against Crystal Palace, we managed to pick up a cheeky goal from a penalty. But then we were silly and went on to lose that game 2-1. And that has bumped us all the way down to fourth in the table, which is not good and only adds to the pressure as our next game is Liverpool. But before Liverpool even knew what was going on, I struck them with this. Oh, what an absolute screamer. I was not expecting that to go in. That does give us an early lead against Liverpool in a crucial time in the Premier League season. Then EA hit me with that ball. No. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you plum tomato. And then for the rest of the game, it was just back and forth, back and forth, until eventually this happened. Oh, and that's Aubameyang. Is he going to get through? Yes, he is. He's ahead of all defenders. This is the 90th minute. This is the last shot of the game. And it goes in. That is beautiful. That is going to make us win this game against Liverpool. And after we secured the game with that last minute worldie, we left Liverpool with a 2-1 win. And in the next couple of games, we managed to pick up not one, not two, but three goals. Beautiful. But I can't lie, I'm nervous today as we are once again facing the Red Devils. But just before our big game against Manchester United, I got this email from the board of directors saying that they weren't happy with how I was running the club financially. But they weren't the only ones that weren't satisfied with how I was running this club. As on the morning of our big game against Manchester United, we got another phone call from Sir Phil. Right, Hazza, Manchester United today, you know the deal. If I lose, I'm fired? Oh, wow, you have got at least one brain cell then. Now get out there and win. But here we are with Manchester United who have arrived in our stadium today, and I think it's time we show them and Sir Phil that we know a thing or two about football. And in the first half, we have the ball to Aubameyang. He's turned around for some reason, but it doesn't matter. Can he get the ball in the back of the net? Yes, he can, to give us a lead against Manchester United and show Sir Phil that we're actually better than he thinks. And the 60th minute was going to be the time to do it. As we managed to get ourselves a penalty and I was feeling confident. And you know what? I feel like embarrassing Sir Phil. So let's score an absolute smash away from the goalkeeper. Sir Phil's going to bite my head off. He is going to absolutely bite my head off. But luckily, I think we were able to get inside De Gea's head as he made this silly mistake. Oh, that's a silly mistake. Oh, and he will be punished for that. But then our goalkeeper did the exact same thing. Oh, no, the goalkeeper's made a mistake. Please. Oh my goodness, no, no, that's not good. This is not over. I thought I had it in the bag and I've just blundered it. But thankfully, the referee blew for full time and we had managed to secure the 2-1 win against the Red Devils. And after that narrow victory against Manchester United, it keeps us in the top four on the Premier League table. However, we only have nine games remaining and we have to score an excess of 39 goals. I'm now starting to realize this is actually a big mountain that we still have have to climb and in the next few games I need to pick up some higher scores because these 1-0 and 2-0 leads are just not cutting it and so for the next couple of games we cracked our fingers down 12 bottles of prime and here's how that looked I'm shot I'm shot he's not gonna get it oh, oh they don't even stand the chance mate oh that's beautiful oh, oh. <laughs> not even that try walk it in have a shot for my man go on no shit oh shit it's me dad another I'll have another Oh, that's easy. Oh. <gasps> this goes in. We are gods. We are gods. We are gods. We go. You saucy minx, you. <laughs> Too easy, mate. Too easy. <laughs> Sweaty. Oh my god, I am on fire, what the hell? And after those sensational games, I really would have thought we'd be in the top spot on the Premier League table, but it turns out that Manchester City have actually taken the lead with 72 points, and we are two points behind them. But the gravity of our situation is really starting to set in, as we only have five oh games remaining god. in this Premier League season, and we have to score at least 22 goals to beat their record of 106 goals. That's an average of at least four goals every single nervous. game. I'm just now realizing that this may actually be impossible. But we did not let impossible stop us, as next we faced Everton, and we were firing shots at Pickford, and he was doing quite well, until we got one past him, and then after that, it all fell apart for Everton, as we started hammering the shots home, and ended up scoring a complete total of six goals against them. 
And for game 35, we faced Aston Villa. And right from the get-go, we put the pressure on as we managed to score three by the half-time whistle. And in the second half, we didn't let up as we scored two more absolutely saucy goals. Yeah! And after those sensational games, we have managed to climb on top of the Premier League table, but we are also drawing with Manchester City, so we cannot afford to lose any of these next games. We also only have three games remaining, and we need to score at least 11 goals to beat their current record. And now we head to Wolverhampton, where we play one of our last three games and hope that we can pick up at least four goals. I need to see beautiful chemistry from absolutely every player in this team today. No, please, not straight away. Oh, we almost conceded in a game where we need to win of at least four goals. Oh, and that's a beautiful ball. Over the top, can he get the through? Yes, he can. Come on, please. Let's start off with a nice goal. And that's a Rabona, he's missed it. Why would he get cocky like that? I'm going to have to have words with him in the changing room. Oh, that's a beautiful tackle. And we get it over to Obamian. Finesse shot. Oh my gosh. And it's come off the keeper. Can we get a rebound? Can we get it in? No. And our young prodigy, who we recruited from the Youth Academy, wants to go on oh, the entire Wolverhampton. What's he going to do? Oh my goodness. I don't believe it. He's in the box and he's lost the ball. But he's passed it to Rabio. Can he get it back? Yes, he can. Can we get it in the goal? Please. We just need this goal. Please. Please. No. No. Oh no, and it's going to go to half time and I need to score four goals in the second half. But even in the second half, we still seem to be struggling. You get this beautiful no. overhead kick. No, again, are you serious? And then we finally start to have some luck. Finesse, finesse that in. Oh, and that's beautifully placed in the goal. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful play. That is, and I've got someone on the side. Let's just run it in. Let's just run it into the goal. Guys, I'm actually starting to believe that we might be able to do this. And it only started getting better. Terrible. Oh my goodness, what is he doing? That was awful. Oh my gosh, Aubameyang, please. Oh! <laughs> and Aubameyang has put them in their place with that beautiful finesse shot and back healed us all the way up to three goals. But I am not satisfied with just three goals because I know that if we only score three, it's going to make it so much harder for us in the next two games. So let's see if we can bag ourselves a fourth goal here today. We can with Aubameyang's powerful foot in the goal and we managed to finish that game with four goals to our side and that win manages to keep us on top of the Premier League table and in line to win that title if we keep going the way we are and we also have 100 goals which means we are only seven goals away from beating the 106 goal record and tensions were high in our second to last game everyone was talking about us as we made our way to play Fulham was Southampton about to do something never before done in football history or were we about to trip up at the last hurdle so if I can get four goals in this game and then get three in the next, that means that we have beat the record. And let's see if we can start the scoring off with a beautiful run from Obama Yang. He's finessed it in and it's hit the back of the net. That goal is also going to go towards helping us secure the title of this season. Oh, and I can see Mikel Antonio making that beautiful run. He's going to finesse it into the goal and he's hit the ball. Can he get it a second time? Uh. No! What are you doing? Obama Yang is making that run. Is Antonio? Yes, Antonio is in beautiful space. We're going to do this beautifully with an overhead kick or whatever you call that. It doesn't matter because that gives us our second goal. Oh, that is majestic. Is he onside? Yes, he is. Oh my gosh, he's going for a shot outside the box. Oh, it's off the bar. Can McGraw finish it? Oh my goodness, that was the best goal. That has to be one of the best assists of this season. But ladies and gentlemen, that does not even come close to what I describe as the most unworldly goal I've ever scored in my FIFA career. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the? What the? Oh my god, I've never done that in my entire life before. That is the best goal I've ever scored, undoubtedly, in this game. And that will be our goal on the half-time whistle. But we didn't manage to score any more goals in that second half. But that win does mean that we secured ourselves as the champions of this season. And now we're about to head into our last game against Leicester. We can see that we have 104 goals, which means we need three goals in this last game and we have completed the challenge but before we head into the game sir phil wants to have one final call with me right hazard you might have secured the title but don't get too ahead of yourself if you don't beat manchester city's 106 goal record you're still going to get the sack so don't let me down or you're not coming back so even though i'm already going to win the title sir phil is being really mean and saying that if i don't beat the goal target of 106 goals that he's going to fire me anyway and so, the time has come for the final game of this season as Leicester join us in our stadium to face us. And if I don't want to get fired from this club, we need to score those three goals to beat Manchester City's target. But this is it, the end of the season, what we've all been looking forward to. Let's see if we can end on a high note. And oh my goodness, are we going to get a beautiful... Oh, I thought... Oh, hang on, hang on. 
Hang on! Oh my goodness! We've gone and scored a goal in the first three minutes on our first solo run. This is looking to be an absolute belter of a season for Southampton and me as their manager. But it wasn't all sunshine and roses as Tielemans picked up. Oh no, and Tielemans is the one goal! Yay. And then it just got worse. Oh no, and Barnes! Barnes has broken through our defence! Please! Please no! Don't! Don't! Don't do this to me! No! Not in the final game! Please! Please! What's going on with the football? Why is it spinning? He's a basketball player. But I don't believe this. We are now only drawing and I still need to get two more goals if I'm going to beat Manchester City's target. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful through ball. Come on, I want another goal before half time. He's going for a shot. It's a pal. It's in the top right corner. It is absolutely beautiful. This is a fantastic day. I can't believe that my dreams might actually come true. Oh no, Dakar has got my defense. Please no. Oh my gosh. This is getting too close. But then Leicester got a corner and our nightmares came true. <coughs> but be safe. Whoa. And we've got to go to half time knowing that we still need another goal. I cannot take this intense pressure. It's good. It's our young prodigy. He's going for a shot. What the heck happened there? This is getting too close. It is almost the 70th minute and we don't have a goal in sight. But wait, this is a beautiful run from Antonio. Please, please, can he put it in for the win? Nope. Oh no! Oh no! That was gonna be it! Oh, we need to pull off something special. We need to change up our tactics. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I don't believe it! We've done it off the header! We have done it! We have achieved the 106 goals! We have beaten it and made it to 107! We've just beaten the Manchester City World Record! Oh, and there it is! There's the title! We've won it! I'm so proud of this team! I've managed them from day one! We came from the bottom and we managed to win the Premier League title and beat Manchester City's 106 goals! record we did it yes 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 if you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what was your favorite part down in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one